So the question becomes, how do we do this? We have a number, let's say n equals five. How do we convert this into something that printf can understand? Well, the first thing we can do, and you need to understand this about printf, is we can give it percent %d, and I'm gonna put a new line just so we can read it better. This is a format specifier. So percent %d will say whatever argument is given here, I will format it as a number, a decimal number. So when you run it, we get five. Hey, that makes sense. There are some other cool things we can do with printf. We can say instead of percent %d, we could say percent zero two %d. This will pad the number up to length two. So if it's smaller than length two, it will be brought up to length two and it will pad it with the this character right here, which is zero. So it'll put zeros to the left of it to pad it to that size. Super convenient, super nice. We have it set to two, we could set it to six and then it would pad it up to six. So we have this, what can we do now? Let's change the D to an X. Now we're gonna format that number as hex. And there we go. Really boring because five in decimal is also five in hex, so that doesn't really help us, does it? Let's change it to something like 45. Let's rerun this, and we can see that we get 2D. How awesome is that? But again, this is not raw binary. This is just an ASCII representation. If we pipe this to XXD, we're gonna get something completely different. Yeah, we're gonna get 32, 64, these are ASCII letters, 2D, and then we get 0A. This is the uh, new line at the end of it that we put here. So. What do we do here? We can store this information. Why do we want to store this information? Because we have the number we need. We need 2D, we just need those slashes in front of it. So we can store that in a variable. We could say dash V, uh, I don't know, let's call it out. And now we have a variable where if we look at the variable, it just has 2D in it. That's super cool. So we are very, very close. We can store that in a variable. What if we put a slash X in front of that? What's gonna happen now when we put this in a variable? It's good. <laughs> well, it's gonna yell at us because it's gonna try and interpret the slash X. So what we can do, bear with me, I'm so sorry about this. We can escape the slash. There we go. So now if we echo out, we have this. Backslash X 2D as a string. So now we have our first printf which creates that string. Now we can make our second printf, which will take that string and run it through the percent %b. So we need multiple printf here, like I said we would. We can do this and this will give us the raw binary version of that. We can prove it with xxd, so we can see that we get 2d. We get 2d, that is what we wanted in raw binary.